Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show how to do Venom instance. So first we enter an archo, saw through the gate in this corner here. There is Mrs. Zoologist, we talk to her. There is every day a certain time window when you can enter from 8 to 23.30. Okay, let's reset the order. And we enter. Um, before we enter, make sure that you got probably channeling apple or channeling gear, like necklace, ballad robe, headgear. My pet of choice today for this instance will be the Avatar of War because it's very fast and it have a strong physical attack. You also need to be in PK mode. And um, here we go. I will um explain the mechanics before we start the rift i'm ready there we go so um, as we see on the map here we have um this point where the wave will start and we have a naughty pot bird and we have all the guards and this is the end of the wave so, um, I set my pad here at this point, <coughs> let's say at this corner of this inner cycle, because they will spawn sly foxes between the waves, or while the waves are running, and the fox goes in some kind of half cycle the room. Um, I will use most likely heavy load, which is a range skill, stone attack from my monkey and um, every wave we will have enough credits if everything went right to um, activate one more guard every guard takes 100 credits so what's happening here is um, <coughs> sorry a wave will spawn and we click on one monster of the wave to see what debuff is required Basically, the pop bird, you don't need to click anything. You see, oh, it's small teddies, okay, debuff one. Oh, it's colons, debuff two. Oh, it's big amored beers, oh, debuff three. And that's it. Um, so, as I already said, the pop bird have three different debuffs. The first one that you activate with attacking it once. Um, like you switch every time one debuff, when you attack it once, when you want to switch it twice, you attack it twice. And debuff 1 is uh, maximum HP reduction for small teddies, debuff 2 is for colons, which are very fast, and debuff 3 is armor break for more beers. That's basically it. All these guards here only have two settings to switch, which is either first magical attack or second physical attack. Okay, now that the most necessary parts are prepared, let's switch to channeling gear. <laughs> Here you go. Um, you can also use additionally rank 8 top, but I don't see myself needing that, so let's start. Here we go. The first wave is always very easy. It's this kind of scorpions, and they don't require a lot. And there is a sly fox. We activate a guard in the same mood as this one. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, physical immunity. Oops, and this one. 
I think I already screwed. No, I didn't screw it up. They catch the slow. Uh -huh. Die! Well, okay. <laughs> so, um, basically, you don't really listen to what the wave is telling you, like physical or magically immune. I make sure I click on one monster of the wave and see, oh, physical immune, that poor, don't have to switch my guards, they do magic damage. And once I have 100 credit points again, I activate another guard. Magic attack, magic attack, magic attack, debuff 2 on top bird. After wave 3, they spawn little baby bosses. It can be a cute cactopod, which requires soul degen, otherwise gonna heal up. Or it's a tortoise, which you need to... Nope, I just switch it twice. And again, no change on the guards. Um, <coughs> and another Thy Fox. I'm sorry, but you must die now. There you go. Um, yeah, it can be a tortoise, which you just attack with any kind of water attack. It can be a baby dino, which you need to perch. Amp is not required, but you can add amp. Or, um, as I say, the baby cactopod, which requires soul degen. These are the boss mini wave bosses. Well, okay, let's activate another guard and get ready for the first baby boss, which pops up after wave three. There is a cactopod. Thank you. Let's have some soul degen. And we get ready to swap the boss board. Speedy Colins, you need to attack it once. <laughs> He's a fire immune. <coughs> Have to change the guards. Some action. Yeah, Colins require a very fast reaction time. Don't be um <coughs> underestimating them. They move fast. They require the slow debuff. Here we go. So all of my guards are physical damage now. And my puff bird is on debuff too, which is slow. And there comes another Sly Fox. You can see the Sly Fox on the map, basically. There it is. And there it was. <laughs> Activating another guard, this time <coughs> physical attack. So I have all of them in physical attack mode. And there is a baby dino. Got perch it. And Colleen's, so Popper don't have to change, but guards again. <laughs> and another side fox. <coughs> Watching the map. Try to overextend too much to your pet, otherwise it can spawn back in your pet cage, and that's what we don't want. <coughs> can cause us a little trouble, but as long as you move in this inner cycle, nothing bad is gonna happen. And there is another dino. Have to attack it twice for debuff one. And these teddies are fire immune. Have to switch all the guards. And another Sly Fox. So basically, um, wave uh, 8 is the last wave, and wave 9 is just a baby boss, and wave 10 is a big booty boss. That's HP, physical. Oh, 
was that slow. No. And we are getting ready to activate. <coughs> as soon as we have another 100 credit points, the next card. Go. Then we go back to wait for the next mini boss, a tortoise. That one is easy, you just have to attack it on the wood attack. Bye bye, tortoise. And baby beers again, fire immunity. Wow, <laughs> so much switching today. Well, that's good training. It's pretty random if you have a hard run or an easy run. Sometimes you don't have to switch anything and just activate guards, basically. And sometimes it's like today, you have a little action in between the waves. So the last boss is a big booty dino. And we will try to apply all of the debuffs of this puff bird on it. Starting with the HP reduction, which is I consider most important. There is a turtoise. I get my pad on follow. And I will use Paranova. Right now. I will apply another attack on the puff bird for debuff 2. And another one for debuff 3. And just one more to make sure to set my pet after the dino. So we are going, going to catch the dino with a stun, grabbing one more spark tree, hopefully, amping it, <coughs> debuffing it, <coughs> slowing it down, debuffing again. Going again in for the slow. Yep. Don't run. No, no, doesn't matter. It dies through the guards. That's it, basically. So um, here we go. Thousand gain credit points will give us twenty-six feral souls for our pets, and we have the chance to even get the special book we scroll for. Him. Okay, let's have the rewards. There we go. So this one can be used to change the stats or change the mood. Or, uh, of course, evolve your pad. You know, all that stuff, I hope. Um, yeah, that's it. It's kind of easy. So Puffbird have three debuffs. Uh, HP, slow, and armor break. Each time you attack it, once it switched the debuff once and the same with the guards, either physical or magic attack. Set your pad on a good spot like over here. Make sure sly foxes are not sneaking through because they will ruin your perfect points and you won't get the maximum reward. Um yeah, I hope you liked the video and I probably do some more in the future, but yeah. See you around guys, bye! Thank you.